right, where your future could be determined. No doubt about it. Comment keeps coming your way. We'll see you at the half. What's going on everybody? It's Coach Gary. Welcome. We got the Carolina Tar Heels welcoming and hosting the Louisville Cardinals. And you guys, you Carolina fans, you know, Carolina stand up. You guys know what happened last time. Carolina pulled that one out, but not without controversy. So you know the Louisville Cardinals are coming in to the Dean Smith Center trying to make some things happen. What's up, Coach? Well, that about says it all, don't you think? Sometimes silence. Coach didn't want to say anything. But, yeah, uh, you know, Louisville is – what's up, Comic Boy? Louisville is coming into the Dean Smith Center uh, unfazed thing. They should have won that game the, uh, the, the last time, and possibly they, 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 they could have. Uh, so – We'll see what the Tar Heels do today. Uh, I, I, once again, hey, if we played defense like we did two games ago in the second half against Pitt, we we're going to be hard to beat by anyone. What's up, Noam? But uh, but if we come out like like luster, you know, not hitting not hitting our shots, and, and that gets what gets to us mentally, you know, because if we play good, if we if we hit our shots, we're going to play decent defense. But, uh, dang, if Coach would just get these boys to think defense first, Carolina will be all right. Now, Carolina has a better record than Louisville. Uh, but still, if you're looking at what I'm looking at right here on my screen, on the screen right here, look at matchup predictor. Matchup predictor, again, gives Carolina the overwhelming chance to win this game, 85.9%. Louisville, like that much. Look at it. Look, I mean, look. And I hate that because this has only worked or, or only, this has only been right a few times. When it's like that and, 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 and we're only giving that other team, the opposing team, a very per, small percentage to win, it's always a tough game, usually. All right, but uh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, Mike Panice. I thought, his, I thought his name was Pegas. Anyway, he has been giving the keys. He's a, his 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 uh, um, his contract has been extended because they let the other coach go. There you go, Armando. Armando is gonna get double team. I think this is one of the teams that has double teamed in the last time. If he's double teamed, don't worry about scoring. Get the ball out. Let the let the game come to you, Armando. What's up, Michael Smitty? What's going on? All right, that was a shot by Williams for Louisville. He missed the three-point basket. Um, Manic hit his. For UNC, so UNC is up. See if Leaky Black can have a, a decent game. Love shooting a quick three off the mark. Rebound, Louisville. Skip pass over here, number 24. He's looking at it, three, turns it down. Gets it to number 13. Learn these guys' name. I forgot them already. Ellis. Louisville hits a three. They got a Davis number 14. West is 13. Williams. Baycott gets the ball to the left side. That's Leaky Black. Leaky Black back to Love. Love to Davis. Davis gets it over to Manic. Try to get it down to, uh, to uh, Baycott. That would have been a slam dunk, but it's deflected out of bounds. Still Carolina ball. The score is 3-3. Three to three. Let's go, UNC. We need this one. 
We need all of them. Baycock has the ball down low. It's one on one. Fake shot off the off the board with the right hand. If they don't double team, Baycock's gonna have his way. He's too big and strong down there. What's up, Ray? All right, who is I think this guy is it's Wes and Williams drives stolen by uh, Manic. Leaky Black gets up all to Davis, pulls it back out, skip past the Love. Love gets to the Manic in the corner, and it's good. Brady Manic uh, score is correct, eight to three. Out of bounds. Another turnover, or a turnover by Louisville. Williams is number five for uh, for Louisville. Ah, they're trying to get the Baycott, but can't force it though. All right, that's Williams, number five. I don't know if he played the last game. Let's go, Carolina. We can't have turnovers. Let's go. Nice defense by Louisville. Deflects the ball. Now 16 seconds to shoot. Manic brings it back. Gets it to Leaky Black. Leaky Black to Love. And I guess it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. Baycock tries to set a screen. Love didn't give him the ball quick enough. So now he has to shoot a long three. Off the mark. Rebound, Baycock. And he puts it back in. Lays it in. Good rebound. Don't like the way that offensive possession went right there. Uh, started off, but we got something good out of it. The score is 5-10. to 10. Carolina. Oh, too easy. Let's go, uh, Love. Number three is Ellis. And Davis, number 11 for Louisville, gets all the way to the basket. Let's go. We got to settle down. We got to sit down on defense. Love has the ball on the left side. Turns the screen down from Baycock. Goes to the basket. Misses the layup. Now Williams comes down the court with the ball for Louisville. Gets that to West. Guys, make sure you hit that uh, that like button and uh, share and subscribe if you don't mind. Share and subscribe to the channel if you don't mind. Davis. Shot is bought by Leaky Black. Looks like five seconds on the clock. And there is a timeout. Yeah, Leaky Black is a good defender. He is the glue that keeps everything together, man. Uh, his senior year this year came back last year for that COVID year. Uh, or came back this year for... Uh, because they got that COVID year. But uh, Leaky Black is one of those guys. I don't know if he's, I'm pretty sure he's not going to get drafted. And and it's like if he, if he had just a little more offense, if he had just maybe five more points, if Leaky Black could score like an average of 10 points a game, he could, pro he could probably get drafted in like the second round. But he's a good player for us, so. Yeah, guys. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Make sure you guys leave a comment. Uh, hang out a little bit. And it doesn't matter if you're cheering for the Heels, but if you're a Tar Heel fan, then, uh, then we are Tar Heel fans. Uh, but if you're not, that's fine, too. But make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hey. It's uh, getting down to the wire, people. Eventually. And, and another week, basically. What's the date? The 21st? Week and a half? It'll be March. And you know what happens then. March Madness.
March Madness ACC tournament. Uh, it's not it, it's not a given that Duke will win it, even though they've been the only. They've been at number one, Duke and Miami, and they are the only ACC team that is ranked. It's not a given that Duke will automatically win the ACC tournament. You, you know, you got some teams they Miami, uh, uh, Wake Forest, Wake Forest, the surprise, and and who knows? Uh, any given day. Any given day, Carolina could end up, you know, any given tournament, Carolina could end up winning this thing. So, uh, it should be an interesting one. Should be an interesting one. Definitely can't be overlooked. We got a better record than all the teams we're playing from here on out, but we cannot look over any of them. Long three by number three. Bank shots off the mark. Rebound by Baycock. Davis brings it up. Gets a quick pass over to Love. Back to Davis. Davis shoots a three, and Davis hits a three. All right, right. At least Carolina starting off shooting the ball well. Good defense. Ball is deflected out of bounds, but it's still Carolina's ball. Set, hey, 15 minutes and 9 seconds left in the first half. Let's go, Carolina. Set down on defense. Sit down on defense. I right, get the ball into Williams for Louisville. Now West has it. He's on the Carolina emblem. I meant Carolina logo. Gets that back across. Three-point shot is missed. Rebound by Baycock. Love brings it to the right side. Now he's to the middle. Looking to get into the lane. Kicks it back to Leaky Black. Swings it to uh, Manic. Now Davis has it. He comes back to the middle of the court. He's now on the logo. Crossover dribble. Step back three. Off the mark. Rebound Louisville. West has it. Long three. Misses. And Leaky Black got his hands on the ball, but it's knocked out of bounds by Louisville. Still Carolina ball. Right now, the only quad one win on the ledger for the Tar Heels. They had a quad one win earlier this year with Michigan. Michigan dropped out of the tournament. Yeah, well, only got that one quad one win. Yeah, they only got that one quad one win. Davis brings the ball to the right side. Screen set by Manic. Manic brings it up. Now Manic has it. 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 Now on the left side, gets it down to Baycock, one-on-one. -on -one. Him and Williams, he back to Love. Love shoots a three. It's short, really short. Saved by Louisville, and we didn't get back. There wasn't any defensive balance, and easy two by Louisville. Can't have that, guys. Let's go. There's plenty of time for somebody to get back and have defensive balance. The score is 19. I'm mean, excuse me, 9-13. Love drives, kicks the leaky black for three. Air ball by Leaky Black, but keep shooting it, Leaky. West brings it down. He's dribbling on the right side. Gets that at the top, the top of the key. Skip pass. Fox, excuse me, West takes the three, misses it. Carolina does not get this rebound. Louisville gets it, throws it in this time. Just like that, Louisville is, is right back in it. 11 to 13 is the score. What you guys think about the game so far? Let's go, Carolina. Love kicks that out. Wide open three, Manic. And it's good. Number three, I think this is Davis for Louisville. Has it down the corner. Kicks that back to Williams. He thought about a long three. Manic closed him out. He shoots one anyway. Ooh, nice step back by the big man. Yeah, I don't think Williams played the last time we played Louisville. 
All right, Love has it. He gets it over to Davis. Now Leaky Black in his corner. Back over to Love. They get it down to Baycock. One-on-one. -on -one. Baycock maxes his man down. Left hand layup. Or left man hand hook shot is not any good. Louisville comes out of there with it. Davis hounded his man to the top of the key. Screen set. Long three by Williams. It's short. Rebound. Carolina. That's Love. And Love brings it to the right side of the court. Manic gets the ball. He hands him the ball. And then back to Love. Love thinking about driving. His man one-on-one. -on -one, a lot of dribbling. And he's fouled on the play. Uh, that might be the first foul. I wonder, that's not a. It's not a, going to be a shooting foul. And we have another timeout. All right, both teams scoring at a pretty good clip right here. Hey guys, make sure you uh, subscribe. Hit that like button. Glaive, what's going on, man? What's going on? Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see the uh, the poll question I got up there. Carolina will beat Louisville by what? Ooh, Carolina will lose 100%. Okay, okay. Well, only got one vote so far. Uh, Carolina will beat Louisville by three points or less, five points or less. Or is that is that the poll that was completed? I think that's the co the poll that was completed. Can't do anything with it right now. All right, box scores. Carolina sixteen, Louisville fourteen. For Louisville, Withers has a three pointer. Williams has five points. Davis, four. Ellis has two. West has not scored yet. Uh, and for Carolina, Baycott with four points. Manic has nine. Davis has three. That is it. Nobody's off the bench yet. Probably when we come back from um, this timeout, coach might decide to put some guys in there. Uh, I'm looking for Styles to come off the bench kind of early. He's been doing that. Coaching put them out there uh, pretty pretty early, so we'll see see what Styles can do. I think he's he's coming on slowly but surely. All right, Carolina has the ball. Going to get it in there. Uh, setting up the line. High inbounds play. Davis gets the ball. They get it to the right side. That's Love with the ball. Screen set by Baycock. He gets it to Leaky Black. Leaky Black looking to hand off to Davis. Now Baycock with it beyond the three-point line. He hands it to Styles, who just came in. Leaky Black drives. Shoots a jumper. It's blocked. And Louisville has the rebound. This is this is West with the ball. He gets it at the, at the top of the key there. Swings it over to number 10. New guy that comes in for uh, Louisville. Baseline drive. Strong drive on, on uh, Styles. Carolina 
playing good defense. Now it's at the top. 15 seconds. The clock was reset. Well, back to 15 seconds, I think. West crossing over. They get that pass to Curry. Oh, yeah, Big Curry had a nice game against Carolina uh, the last game. That was a, that's a big dude. He was a big load. Quick shot by number zero. Goes in. Carolina's going to have to play tonight. Hey, we got to play every night. Let's just get it in their heads. Play play every night. Styles hands that to Davis. Davis thought about driving. He stopped. Gets it to Baycock. Baycock is going to get called for the charge. We cannot stop doing that. I don't know why. You know they're going to they're gonna call you for the charge, baby. Got to You got to develop that little mid-range. Boom, right there. Jump stop. He's just going to walk right in front of you, baby. At least you gotta you gotta know they're coming, Baycott. Nobody's gonna try to block your shot right there. They're gonna draw that foul because they know once you get it, you put that ball on the floor, you're going straight to the basket. I I can't. I'm not mad at you for doing that. Just realize they're going to uh, try to draw the foul on you. Louisville, number ten, drives all the way to the basket. He is fouled by probably by Styles. Louisville is going up by one point. I'm chilling here in Chicago. I hear you, Glaze. In Chicago, chilling. Louisville goes up by two, scores 18 to 16. Louisville. For those who just joined in, Carolina started off with the lead here. Got a, a decent, this decent lead. I think maybe by by a. Uh, Six to eight points. Uh, but since then, Louisville Cardinals have worked their way back into it. Styles came in for Manic. Love has the balls on the left side. Gets that over to Davis. Davis shoots a three, and it's good. Got to have a good game for Davis. That's the second three Davis has hit today. West brings it down for Louisville. They're deep on the left side. Oh, we leave them. West steps back and hits the three. Come on, guys. Let's go. What kind of defense is that? You never leave a ball carry, uh, the, the dribbler, the ball handler. Love has it. Thinking about driving. He shoots a short two, and he knocks that one in. 21-21 is the score. Nine minutes and 14 seconds. Zero backing love down. Doesn't he doesn't want to pass it, and there's no need to pass it because he scores. Back and forth they go. David bring, Davis brings it down. Gets it to Baycock way beyond the three point line. Now Love has it. He goes to the floor, and it's stolen. Let's go, Love. You gotta be stronger than that, baby. Let's go. Number ten gets in the lane and scores. Let's go, Louisville. Has come to play. We know they would. Williamson. That's number 10. The score is 25-21. Let's go, baby. We got to fight back. We're at home. Skip pass over to Love. Love hands it to Davis. Screen set by Baycott. Davis splits the screen. Gets it to Styles for a long three. That's way off. But Baycott gets the rebound. He will not be denied. And he lays it in. West has the ball. They call the, the play. West is on the logo. Drives to the right side. Finds Williamson. Williamson pulls up. And Williamson is shooting a great ball. I don't know if he's missed today. Love crossover. Thought about the three. Get it to, got it to Leaky Black. Uh, Leaky Black tried to get it down to Baycott, but Baycott was fouled on the inside by Curry. Yeah, we Curry had a nice game against us the last time. Get him in foul trouble. That would be great. 
Coach P over there with uh, Louisville. I am happy happy for Coach P. He got a got a contract extension uh, for right now. Man, I didn't know those. I didn't know the assistant coach made that much money. You guys look it up. A nice, nice. Well, actually, he got an extension, but as far as uh, getting more money, uh, he didn't get any more money. <laughs> uh, but he had he, they added some uh, incentives on uh, on how many you know if he wins a certain amount of games if they go to the uh, and win the go and win the tournament or win the and win the uh, or get a bid for the uh, NCAA and win that tournament he gets some um, he gets some incentives. Man, it gotta be nice. Get you a job doing something you love doing that you would do even if if they weren't paying you. All right, here is the the uh, stats. Here's the stats. I keep looking at that score, man. Dang, Carolina is actually. I mean, we're shooting the ball well. I think we're playing pretty good offense, but we're still down, man. We're going to have to turn up the defense. Turn up the defense. Wow. See, this is what I, what I always say. Matchup predictor. Matchup predictor always. Always throws that that suit. Always throws that that uh, that jinx in there. Matchup predictor. Giving Louisville only 14% chance to win the game. Come on. And Carolina 80 something. Let's go, man. Every time, every time I look at that, it just never turns out that way. May, who knows? Maybe, maybe Louisville will go cold. Maybe Carolina will heat up. They're actually playing good offense. All right. We just gotta we're gonna have to tighten up and get a little bit more aggressive on defense. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, field goal percentage. The Cardinals shooting 42, but Carolina shooting 47. They're shooting 52. Carolina shooting 47. Three points uh, percentage. 36 to 41. Carolina shooting a better three-point percentage. Uh, free throws. Like nobody, nobody's fouling in this game. Not 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 on the uh, not on not in the shooting in, in shooting most. All right. Uh, Rebounds. Louisville is out rebounding Carolina. Let's go. Doesn't seem that way. There's your scissors. You still block turnover. Carolina has three. We are always, for some reason, uh, we always have the most turnovers for some reason. We got to cut down on the turnovers. There's the largest lead, four and six. All right, Love has the ball. He's on the logo. Gets it to Manic. Manic shoots another three. Off the bench. He misses. Louisville brings the ball down. Number 11 is in. Williams has the ball. He gets it over here to number zero. That may be Ellis. Williamson has the ball. They're thinking he can score anytime he gets ready. So he takes Leaky Black, a hook shot. He misses. Rebound, Manic. Lead pass to Davis on the right side. Davis gets that to Manic. Manic faked the three point shot. And now Coach calls the play. The ball is on the logo. Davis dribbles, dribbles, crossover. He's going to the basket. Left hand layup. Oh, misses it. And there's a foul called on R.J. Davis. Like he was running right beside me. Must have reached in there. No need to do that, buddy. Yeah, they're talking about uh, Garcia. Yeah, we miss him. Colonel Walton comes in. Coach takes uh, his love still out there. If not, 
two the two starting guards. No love is still out there. Louisville gets the ball to the left side. He pulls up for a three off the mark. And it's knocked out. Another rebound by Louisville. They get a second chance. Drive to the basket. Should be should have been in a, uh, a tie-up call, but it wasn't. Puff Johnson comes down thinking he can get to the rim. He's fouled. He throws it up. Oh, almost completes the – or almost had a chance for the uh, old-fashioned three-point play. But he was fouled, and big brother – Cameron Johnson is in the building today. Oh, big Luke May in the house, too. Hub Johnson hits the first. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't even think about it. The reason these guys are here is because they're uh, they're on their All Star break. That's Cameron. So is uh, Luke May. Luke May is playing in Spain. They said. Wonder he'll if he'll ever get a chance to get to get to the NBA. The position he plays is so is in between. He's not a center. He'd have to play like a power forward. All right, score 27 25, 6 minutes and 14 seconds. Oh, mismatch. Williams and Curran Walton. Williams. Little hook shot. Half hook goes in. Williams and Williamson doing all the scoring for Louisville. With ease, the score is 25 29. Louisville, 5 minutes and 52 seconds left in the first half. Love. Going between his legs. Now he drives, lays it up with the right hand on the left side, and he scores. Now Carolina's got to get that back, and there's a, a turnover. Slow down. Oh, we take a quick three by Love, and he hits it. That's one of those. Wait, 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 wait. Good shot, good shot. And there's a timeout. My, right, my bad, guys. I had that music playing all the way through. That's all right. We got a timeout. All right. Yeah. Like like I said, Carolina is um, they are doing a decent job scoring. Like the scoring is not the problem. It's really no problem. Louisville shooting a good ball. Carolina shooting a good ball. Uh, yeah. Both teams just playing hard right now. Both teams playing hard right now. Coach, you see that incident involving? Yeah, hey, my bad, my bad, uh, Ray. Yeah, I saw it, man. I looked at it, and uh, my nephew, he always calls me and keeps me abreast of, of all all those things happening, man. And yeah, I looked at the tape a couple of times, you know, and finally saw that it wasn't even the head coach that he uh, that Jawan swung at. But you know, if you swing, man, you're gonna you be you're gonna be in trouble. My uh. My nephew was like, "Well, they're gonna they're gonna uh, fire him," but I was like, "Maybe they'll just suspend him," and it looks like that's what they're gonna do, just suspend him. But yeah, it's a that's a that's a big thing, man. And you know, Jawan, he always played with with emotion. He coaches the same way. All right, Carolina gets the with the one point lead, gets it down to Manic. Manic turns around, he's got to find oh, finds Baycott under the basket. Nice pass by Manic. And Baycott with the layup, 29-32. Four minutes and 50 seconds left in the first half. Williamson gets that ball back up to Williams, handing to Williamson. It's going to be the Williams and Williamson show for uh, Louisville. Three, nine seconds to shoot on the clock. This is Williams, shoots over Baycott. Rims in and out. Curran Walton with the rebound. He gets it to Love. Love on the logo. Calls the play. Baycock setting the screen up top. Love. Skip pass that over to Curran Walton. Curran Walton takes a, a step in and he misses the short jumper. Man, 
Man. Louisville comes out and scores quickly. I forgot. I can't. I think number zero's name is Locke. Love doing a lot of dribbling on the left side. Finally gets it to Manic. Manic swings it over to. Uh, uh, Manic swings it over to Curran Walton. He gets it to Baycock, and the ball's deflected. Now uh, Louisville shoots a three, misses. Curran Walton with the rebound. Gets it to Love. Love bringing it up the court on the right side. Love gets to the middle, thinking about going all the way to the basket. Kicks that to Puff. Puff Johnson misses. Baycott with the rebound. Goes up strong and flushes it. B dot in the house. Three minutes left in the first half. 31 34, Carolina. Oh, number 11 for Louisville drives on the right side, throws it up. It's good, and he is fouled on the play. And we have another timeout. Baycott having a good game so far. So we have another timeout. Carolina up right now, actually by one. If a young man hits his free throw, uh, this score will be uh, actually actually if the score if he hits this, it'll be a two point game. Thirty three. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think. I didn't think they'd put the score up there. So I think the score, if he hits the free throws, when we come back, the score will be tied. So here we are. Louisville withers with with three points. Williams has seven. Davis four. Ellis with two, and West with three. I think that might have been Ellis with the uh, layup off the bench. Williamson five points. Loke has seven, or is that Locke? Locke has seven points off the bench. Locke is number zero. Let's talk about what is professional today. No, let's not talk about what is professional today. All right, so North Carolina Tar Heels, Baycock, starting off very good. Already has double figures and six rebounds. Manic, nine points, shooting the ball well. Davis has six points. Uh, two of those are three points. Actually, it says two of three. Okay, that's right. He has six points. Two of those are three-point shots. Uh, Love has seven points. And off the bench, Pub Johnson with two. So like I said, right now it's just a it's just uh both teams are doing a good job scoring. The defense is not terrible. Uh we've got to stop those uh drives to the basket there sometimes that Louisville has. Other than that, you know. Hey, a guy that's shooting outside that's that, that's hitting his outside shot, you know, you can just you can get up you can get up into him, but if he hits it, it's just good offense. All right, guys, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, we're back, young man, uh, for Louisville's on the line. He hits He hits the shot. So Love has the ball to call him the play. He has the ball on the logo. He goes... He dribbles to his left side, gets it to Manic. 
And then Davis on the right. They're trying to get it to Baycock. He's walled off there. Back to Love at the top. Love still dribbling. He shoots a long three. Shoots an air ball this time. Common boy. I hear you, common boy. You just want to see that. Uh, <laughs> you want to see the alert. Long three is missed. I think that was Williams. Rebound by Baycock. Now Davis has it. Gets it to Puff Johnson. Puff Johnson gets it down to Manic. Manic hits a nice three. Excuse me, a nice two-point shot. Carolina goes up two. Williamson kicks it out to West. Now I think Ellis has the ball. Driving baseline. Gets into the paint. Tries to get that over to West. And Puff Johnson steals it. Skip pass. Oh, did you touch it? Long lead pass by Love goes out of bounds. I think it was tipped by somebody from uh, Louisville. Still stays Carolina's ball. One minute, 27 seconds left before the first half is over. They get it into Baycock. Baycock drives. He's fouled on the play. So he gets to shoot two. Let me test my widget. Make sure. Yeah. I don't know why it's not showing up. A hey, uh, Linton. Bruise us. Linton. Hey, man. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. Actually, that was six days ago. Ah, <laughs> uh, Baycott misses both? Come on, Baycott. Let's go. We got to hit all of them. Nigel, what's up? I think that's how you say your name. I think I said it wrong the first time I saw it uh, some time ago. Think what I think about the new offensive uh, coach of the Panthers. Come on, Baycott. Out of control, baby. Stay in control. Oh, long three by Davis. Off the mark. I don't know. Uh, honestly, to be honest, I got I to check that out. I hadn't even heard. New offensive coordinator. Davis goes right into the basket. Guys, this is going to go all the way down to the wire unless uh, Louisville comes out. Unless Louisville comes out a little bit uh, off the mark or if Carolina comes out and they're very hot because it is tied up 25 seconds left in the first half. Everybody's offense is clicking. Hey Siri, show me some information about the new offensive coordinator for the Panthers. There are 16 offensive players. That's not the what I asked you, bro. Alexander Barkov, Patrick. I'm gonna have to look it up on the computer. Hey Siri, give me North Carolina Panther news. Here's some news about North Carolina Panther. All right, Carolina has the ball. Looks like they're going to hold it for the last shot. Well, coach. 
He trusts that ball in Love's hand because eight seconds left. They got to make a move now. Love comes out, dribbles behind his back. Back over to Manic, shoots a long three off the mark. And Carolina can't score. But it is tied, ladies and gentlemen. It might as well be 0-0 zero, zero right now. Oh, he's from the Giants. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check him out. Coach speaking facts there. Coach speaking them fighting words. Right? Hey, you better wake up. But who's he going to take out if they ain't doing the job? Nobody. <laughs> Coach like, if you, hey, if you don't want to play defense, man, you got to sit on the bench. I'm telling you, man, look, if they ramp up the defensive uh, the defensive intensity, man, they could beat these guys tonight. But if they don't and keep letting Louisville stay in this, Louisville, they, what, what usually happens to Carolina? Let's go. Let's go. Coach just said it. He ain't worried about the offense because good defense is going to create the offense. He knows that. So, I mean, I got to give it to Coach. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Coach uh, preaches that. Ben McAdoo. I heard that name. All right, I'm, I'm going to check. Let me, let's, let me go through this, uh, the, uh, the stats and the score, the um, box scores. And I'm going to look at, I'm going to look at this uh, Panthers new H, new uh, OC. Yeah, Mike, we need a big second half, man. In a big second half. All right, let's check this out here. All right. Um, yeah, let's just start with the box scores. Both teams doing a great job scoring the ball. They're spreading it around there, uh, Louisville, because the top scorers only had only had seven points. Uh, Williams Williams has seven, and um, Locke has seven. Withers with three. Davis has six points. Ellis has two. West has three. Uh, Williamson has five, and then Faulkner off the bench has three points. For Carolina. Manic is actually the top scorer, but Baycock has 10. Manic has 11. Davis has six points. Love has seven. And uh, Puff Johnson has two off the bench. And there it is. All tied up. Like I said, might as well be 0-0. Zero, zero. My bad. Uh, so our our stats, there it is right there. It's about basically even right there. 45.5% Louisville, Carolina 45.2. Three-point shooting, Carolina 6 of 18, Louisville 4 for 15. 
for those percentages right there. Free throw shooting. Uh, Louisville, two of three. Carolina, two of four, 50 percent. Louisville still out re rebounding Carolina by two. There's your assist, your steals, the turnovers are dead even, four apiece. Got to protect that ball at all times. And this score has not been any larger than four to six points. Both teams. Yep, looks like it's going to be another one. Another one. All the way to the end there. Ben McAdoo, okay, let me take that out. Come on, it'll be second half. Good luck with McAdoo. He stunk it up at my Giants. <laughs> uh, good evening, fellas. Fellow Hills family. What's up, Rodney? Turning in from work. What's going on? What's up, Rodney? I'm looking forward to our new coaching staff with the with New York Giants. They got Brian Cabal from Buffalo Bill. Whoa. Big time. Joe Judge was garbage. Hey, hey, the Panthers going to basically have a, a new uh, coaching staff because, uh, what was it, two, Nigel, I think, two or three of our uh, coaches, just, they just, they left. So, Hey Siri, show me some information on Ben McAdoo for the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, man, it's it's gonna be something next year. I was so ready for this year, and uh, it basically ended up like the year before. And uh, the other thing the Panthers uh, fan base is going to be done with is is uh, is our running back. <laughs> if he can't stay well, and if the Panthers don't get rid of him, you know, and he gets hurt again, it's it's going to be hard to get to uh, to get rid of him or trade him for anything anything good, but. Not with news and North Darnold. Not gonna not gonna do Jack. I mean, yeah, I uh I think let's see, I'm I'm pretty sure Newton is out of there. Darnold, you know, I think coach I think he's gonna go with Darnold to begin with. They may draft someone, you know. Uh, I've I've seen a lot of buzz around Sam, Sam Howell from Carolina. Uh but I'm gonna tell you. So, Jawan Howard got suspended five games. Dang, coach. Like, man, just you got to control yourself, bro. But, um, um, McCaffrey. If McCaffrey gets hurt again, bro, they just, it's, I know the fan base is, they definitely going to turn on him. Uh, but yeah, they're gonna have. They, I I guarantee you they're gonna go with Darnold to begin with, regardless. And but then you're gonna have. We got to get. I guess they're gonna get some young buck in there, whoever it is. 
But um, it doesn't matter what what quarterback comes to the Panthers. I mean, I, I guess they can improve on decision making as a quarterback. You can, uh, but. I keep looking at this. Uh, yeah, I keep I keep looking at this uh, Jawan Howard thing, and I, you know, I know he regrets it, but it looked like it looked like the head coach of the other team, sort of like just basically got it. You know, when he he was just going to walk by, he he didn't like he didn't like. I know Jawan didn't like my man calling the timeout, but it looked like he was just going to walk by. You know, looked like the, the 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 shorter coach almost just got in his way, you know, and then they then they got into that the, the, the argument there, and then the other assistant coach I don't know what I don't know what came of what he did confronted head coach. coach. I mean, let's see, did he can did he confront? Yeah, but yeah, they, if Carolina doesn't get a line, it doesn't matter what quarterback comes to us, man. If we don't get a line to protect them, they're not going to be able to do anything. You know, Sam Darnold is not the kind of dude that, and I don't think any quarterback is uh, the kind of dude that wants to take that wants to take punishment. Yeah, that 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 whole thing was kind of weird. I'm trying to rewind. Okay, let me I'm gonna rewind it, cause I've looked at it a couple of times. That's the uh, Jawan Howard thing. Uh, but I want to see. You know, it look to me it looked like Coach was just gonna walk by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, Jawan was just gonna walk by. We'll see. See, that's that's the that's the other thing. Like, like you know, the 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 uh, the, the coach, he could have he could have let he could have let uh, Juwan just walk by. Like, don't don't instigate. You know what I'm saying? Don't instigate. He clearly got in his way. Juwan upset. Was just gonna walk by. Guy got in his way, and then that's when he got heated. He was already heated, but you know. Yeah, both team, both both uh, coaches should uh, have some kind of penalty. I know the other coach didn't throw a lick or a, a swing it, swing anything. He's not gonna be suspended or anything. I don't know if they find him or anything like that. But uh, yeah, that that whole thing could have been could have been avoided. Uh, especially especially the swipe at the other coach. Uh, I don't know what that young man said to coach, but he said something <laughs> enough to get him mad enough to swing at him, which he shouldn't have done. All right, he shouldn't have done. Uh, but I'm glad. I'm glad he didn't get. Sus- I'm glad he didn't get. He didn't lose his job. That will be something. You know, he's gonna think about this. Re- I mean, this is gonna be in his. He's never forget this the rest of his life. But if he would have got fired for that, you know. It's something he just he would he would always he'd probably think about that every every other day. Probably think about it every other day. So in in that case, if he you know, if he if they extend his contract whenever that's up, you know, he dodged one right there because when I saw it I was like, Ooh, they ain't even gonna think about it. They're gonna let they're gonna let Jawan go. But you know, gotta look at the whole situation. All right, guys, this game's gonna be starting back up here shortly.
I just I hope McAdoo just you know opens up the offense a little bit. And yeah, you're right. We're gonna to have to get a quarterback that can that can make some decisions. Cause like I said, I, I thought offensively there was a lot of plays where, ah, oh, come on, I can't have that turnover. Score still tied up. Uh, Louisville misses their first shot. Carolina turns over their second, their first possession of the half. Shot missed by uh, Louisville. Love brings the ball down, throws it up short. Nobody scored yet. Louisville with the rebound. Yeah, everybody's calling for a Matt Rule's head. <laughs> Blocked by Love. Love off to the races on the left side. Now he drives, loses the ball. That's his second turnover. Now Louisville got to score this time, and they do with a three-point shot. Come on, baby, let's go. Out of control. Two two careless turnovers. And there is a stoppage of play. Might have been an injury. All right, Carolina taking the ball out under their own basket. They run the baseline play to get it in the Baycock. Baycock got it out of there to Davis. Davis skip pass down the baseline, gets it to Manic. And the layup is good. Baycock guarding, I think that's Ellis, way out beyond the three. He's beyond the three point line. He makes him give it up. Now Davis drives, shoots over Manic and scores. It's going to come down to the end, guys, I think. Carolina's just going to have to have a run at the end. Davis has the ball, gets to Manic. Leaky Black wide open in the corner, open in the corner, decides not to shoot that one. Back up to Davis. Now Coach calls a play. Love has it. And he shoots it and makes it this time. 41 to 40. Still Louisville though. Number 24 taking Baycott behind the back. Gets that over to skip pass over to Davis. Now Ellis shoots the three off the mark. Rebound Louisville. Another rebound. Ellis has the ball at the top of the key. He goes down the left-hand side with Manic on him. He wants to take him. Spin move. Manic holds his ground. But he gets it to a cutting number 12 who scores. That was by trainer. It looked like Carolina may have uh, went to sleep with all the dribbling from Ev uh, Ellis. 43-40. to 40. Davis has the ball on the Right side of the court gets to the leaky black. Now they hand that to Love. Love dribbling, going off the screen at the top, straight to the basket. Kicks it to leaky black. Wide open three is good. Shoot the ball, leaky. Tied up again. 43 43. What a game so far. Scoring, that is. Ball is stripped by Davis. Love gets it to Leaky Black, who takes off and slams it. Leaky shifted in the gear there. 43-45. And the crowd is now on their feet in the Dean Dome. Number 13. I forgot this guy's name. I've said it plenty of time. They get it to Davis for uh, Louisville. He's being guarded by Baycock. Baycock, just stay on the floor, baby. Now there's a, a 
foul. I think that might have been on Leaky Black. Carolina takes the lead by two, 43, 44, third, excuse me, 15 minutes and 22 seconds left in the game. Right now it's been back and forth. Love nice, nice dish over the Leaky Black who gets up. Hey Siri, give me a list of the players for the Louisville Cardinals basketball team. Hey Siri, give me the roster for the Louisville Cardinals basketball team. There are 18 players on Louisville. Forward, Sam Bearden. Guard, Brad Colbert. Forward, Matt Cross. Forward, Sidney Curry. Guard forward, Dre Davis. Do you want to hear the next five players? Yes. Yes. Forward, Drew Schultz. Forward, JJ Trader. Guard, Jared West. Forward center, Roosevelt Wheeler. Forward center, Malik Williams. Do you want to hear the last three players? No. Oh, wow. Score is tied up, 45 45-45. 41% from three, and he's knocking down close to 90% of his free throws. And Leaky Black is a playmaker. All right, number 13. Yes. All right, Davis has the ball. He's on the logo. Dribbles to the left side. Gets a Leaky Black deep in the left. Now back to Davis. Davis thought about driving, going behind his back. Eight seconds to shoot. Leaky Black has it. Swings it back up top to Love. Love, crossover dribble, takes a long three, misses it. And rebound number 21, lead pass of the 14, that's Davis. Spin move, and he puts it in with his left hand. Good Lord, Carolina, let's go play some defense, baby. 47-45. Baycock tries to go up, he's blocked. 
And Lower Lock pulls a quick three for the Cardinals. He misses it and rebound Baycock. Love gets that over to the right side to Davis. Davis doing a lot of dribbling. He drives, scoops it in there for the layup. Davis. West brings it down now. Number 24, that's Withers. Getting ready to set the screen up top. Make sure you call it there. Williams sets the screen instead. West goes off to the left side. Oh, throws that back across the, the court. And Love. Love loses the ball. Swear that was a foul. But it was not called. Love steps in, steals the ball. You think there's going to be a, a wide open layup. And yeah, he loses it. Love. Oh man, love. If, if anything bad is going to happen to anybody, it's going to be Carolina. I mean, it's going to be love for Carolina. That's his, actually his third turnover. That's Locke with the ball. He gets it over here to Withers, who steps in and shoots it. And the Louisville Cardinal go back up by two 12 minutes 49 seconds on the clock davis brings the ball down he's on the logo he decides to go to the left this time off the screen of baycock they get the ball to manic wide open three manic misses this time balls deflected out of bounds by withers i think it is louisville west withers Lok. And Coach brings two new guys off the bench. That's Coach P for uh, Louisville. That'll be Williamson and number 11. Ooh, nice drive by Love. Man, Love turns the ball over, and then he usually makes up for it on offense. Game is tied. Love goes, yes, Love goes to the... Uh, to the line to shoot number 11 for number 11 is Faulkner for Louisville so they have Williams excuse me Williamson Faulkner I think Loke is out there Love hits the free throw that puts Carolina back up again Withers gets that ball in to Loke. And he hands it off to Faulkner. Faulkner being guarded by Davis. Withers gets that ball to Williams. They get it over to Williamson. He wants to he wants to score on Puff. He shoots it. It's short. Rebound Manic. Hands that to Love. Love dribbling. Has his head up. Behind the back dribble. Screen set by Manic. Still dribbling now. He gets it over to Puff Johnson. He gets it down to Manic. Manic drives. Scoop. Oh, scoops that over to uh, Baycock. But Baycock can't handle it. And it's a turnover by Louisville. Nice defense there by Davis. Makes the big man Williams start trying to dribble. And he dribbles the ball out of bounds. Fly. Oh, well, anyway, what, what's up, Fly? Put $9 on a 21 parlay for 44000 Surprisingly, I hit all 20. I just need Carolina to win to close out the parlay. Let's go, Carolina. <laughs> hey, we need all the fans we can get there, Fly. Fly stepper. Hey. Look, all the Carolina fans in here it, are hoping that we can pull this one out. Hadn't been an easy year at all, man. Not for the Tar Heels. Yeah, so we... uh. We're trying to hang in there, man. This it, actually scoring 
scoring has not 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 been a, a issue but boy if coach could just get in those boys head somehow that if you just focus on defense while we're scoring well right now how many more score we you know the defense defense could could uh parlay into 10 more points for us i'm telling you we're having a good we're we're scoring decently right now we still can't get that ball in the baycock's hand like we like we like we want to and then when he gets it here he's he's losing it his hands are not as sure as they used to be I'm not 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 saying that Louisville isn't part of it they're a part of it but man it's just something it's just something going on down there All right, Louisville, Withers, Withers, 5, Williams, 7, Davis, 10, Ellis, number 3, has 5 points, West, number 13, with 3 points, Curry has not been a, a factor in this game uh, this time, Trainer off the bench has 2, Williamson has 5, Locke has 9, we got to watch, we got to watch Locke. I think Locke is number zero, and Faulkner, Faulkner's number 11. He has three points. But Carolina, Baycock, 10 points, exactly what he had at the half. Manic, 13. Davis has eight. Love has 12. Black has five. Johnson has three. Nobody else off the bench has scored. Uh, actually, actually, our... our our scores are we're staying in it we're staying in it but our scorers are not filling it up like they usually do i'm looking for baycock and man well they're doing a decent job all right here we go back at it again pub johnson driving gets it down to manic manic hook shot wild hook shot but he's fouled on the play by a trainer Oh, man, this is too close for comfort, man. I got to fill up my, my beverage. Manic hits the first. Forty-nine, fifty-one, eleven, thirty left in the game. Come on, Carolina. Can we hang on? Can we hang on? Maynard. Excuse me, Manic hits both. Davis puts a little full court pressure on Faulkner. Faulkner gets that over. I think that's Trainer out there. That's Trainer right there. That was the Williamson deflected by Love. That pass was trying to. They were trying to get that over here to Loke or Locke. Faulkner with the ball. He's on the logo. Coach call the, calls the play. Screen set by Trainer. Trainer has the ball. He travels with it. Let's go, Caroline. We need a we need another run right here. We need a run right here. All right, Davis brings the ball. Coach must have called the play early. Baycock hands that to Love. Love gets it over to Davis. Davis looked at a three and gets it down to Baycock. Baycock, he's already dribbled. He picked up his dribble, so he had to get it back out to Davis. Davis thinking about getting it back to him. Now he drives. Come on, coach. Ref, what are you doing? They called an offensive foul on Baycock. Uh, I like the way Davis decided, hey, I can't get it down there, down there to you. Oh, ref, that's terrible. That's terrible. He never touched him. Anticipated call. Bad call. Bad call, man. 
All right, Rev bails uh, Louisville out of that one because Davis scored on it. Manic still fighting on defense. They try to get that one down to, I think that was Withers. Number 21. Maybe that was 24. Yeah, that was Withers, number 24. Lope gets it over to, to Faulkner. Now back to Withers. He has Davis on him. Ah, and the ref is calling. Woo! That's a, I don't know about that. I didn't see it. Maybe if I look at the, maybe if you play the replay, we can see it a little bit better. Yeah, it's tough. You have Baycott back there. Baycott should have said, yo, I got you, bro. All right, they get it down to Withers. Withers, spin move. Lays it up. And it's good. One point lead by Carolina. All the way to the wire today, babe. All the way to the wire. We'll see what Carolina's made of. Davis, crossover dribble. Scoop pass. Reverse layup is good. Scoop, scoop layup. Reverse layup is good. Davis getting to the basket this game. I'm, I'm liking that. 51-54, 9 minutes 47. And there's a charge called by Lou on Louisville. Boy, this, this ref over here is calling everything. Ref over here calling everything. What's he calling? Let's see. I can't see it. crossover by Davis reverse layup is good all right Davis gives it to love on the left side love takes the baseline Carolina moving the ball around very well now love goes to the basket and bad pass another turnover got caught in the air Faulkner brings it down the right side nobody stops him he goes right to the basket come on man Oh, now it's another. It's a one-point lead once again by Carolina. Man, we we can't get anything going because there's a turnover or lackluster defense. Davis gets it to Leaky Black. Leaky Black goes up for a layup. Nice give and go right there. Or screen and roll is what it was. Three-point lead by the Tar Heels. Eight minutes and 52 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this win. Let's get this win. Withers has the ball, gets it over to number 21. Don't know who that young man is. Williamson drives. Reverse layup is good. Twenty-one is curved. Love gets that to Leaky Black. Swings it over to uh Pub Johnson and now Davis has it. Davis on the left side. Uh, Baycock Baycock came up to set a screen or yeah set a screen but uh, Davis was able to split the double team and he's fouled on the play yeah that kid that kid for Louisville uh, Williamson he's nice I gotta get I gotta hand it to him he's nice I, 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 my stream might be just a little bit fast, guys. I hope you guys hang in there with me. Because evidently, evidently, uh, Davis hits both of these. Corey comes back out of the game and to take his place, number five, Williams, back in. So Davis does hit both of them. Let's go. Let's full court pressure put on the ball by Davis. Faulkner handling it. Screen set. Williams takes a long three. Off the mark. Carolina squeezes the rebound. That's Davis bringing it up the right side. Make a good decision. There you go. Bring it back out. Run the play. If it ain't there, don't force it. Davis, ah, 
Nice little teardrop, but it doesn't fall. Louisville up the court quickly. That's Ellis. Shoots it and scores. Good Lord, man. What's up with our defense? Still a one-point game. Carolina cannot pull away. We're going to have to keep scoring. Love drives, and he's fouled on the play. And there's another timeout on the floor. All right, guys, what's going on? Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Span the chat, guys. Span the chat. What do you guys think is going to happen here? This game is getting down to the to the end there. And 57-58, uh, Carolina up by one. Both teams scoring. I think the offense is just a little bit better than the defense. Which team is going to settle down? Or which coach is going to call some kind of defensive uh, uh, adjustment. Try a little, try a little full court uh, pressure trap or whatever real quick and then get back out of it. And I know it's scary. It's scary, especially with Carolina in the lead. They don't want to try that trap and then have Louisville just beat it with a couple of passes and there's a, there's a layup that puts them, puts them in the lead. Now we're trading baskets back and forth, but they've got the one point lead. so. I understand that part, but what, what can you what can you do? Uh, are they are they they're 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 actually getting to the basket, and that's what Coach P for Louisville uh, said at halftime that he wanted them to do a lot more of. So I'm just wondering, I'm just wondering. Since, since they're not really, let's look at it, not really killing us from the three-point line, I'm just wondering if Carolina put that zone on them. And, they, and who knows, Carolina might be in the zone. No, I think they're a man-to-man. -man. But if Carolina put that zone on them a couple of times and then come, come right back out of it, I don't know. Let's see. They are 5 of 20. For 25%, Carolina's only 7 to 21. They're shooting a little bit better. Uh, I don't know. That's that's one of those things that's kind of hard to call at this point in the game. You know, because you could surprise them with it, and they shoot an outside shot and miss it, and we get a long rebound and take off. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's why that's why those coaches get paid the big bucks. Look, free throws, Carolina sh shooting the most there. Uh, rebounds, exactly the same right now. There's your assist. Look, what about the turnovers? Carolina, good Lord, baby. That's that's hurting us, man. We turned the ball over too much. And uh, those uh, those large lead, the largest lead for both teams, exactly the same since halftime. So we'll see Carolina that wasn't a shooting foul and there's another turnover by Carolina Wow What's up Andrew Let's go somebody is open there we go push that Davis Davis is fouled early. Yeah, that was a same play that Love intercepted a few minutes ago, except from the opposite side of the court. Well, it was a play like that. Uh, no points off of that. Love lost the ball on his interception. Davis was fouled. 
Carolina still up by one. I think they're going to go to the uh, – yeah, they're going to replay this to see if there was a uh, – Alert defensively as the interceptor to take that away. A non-playable, a non-player. A non-basketball play. But I, I don't know if he's going to get a technical with for that one. He pushed him a bit. But I think he's just going to be a regular foul. But the foul was called before that. that could very well be a technical. Matthew, what you guys working on in the studio? The Kamilo, what's up, Kamilo? All right, they're looking at this uh, pretty long, so it, who knows? There might be something called. Come on, no more, no more controversy. Boy, this coach right, this rep right here, he calling some stuff. <laughs> All right, so that, that's, that's the 17 foul. So Carolina, bonus up. Let's go, Davis. Got to hit this free throw, baby. We got to have all the points. Got to have all the points, baby. It's going to go all the way down to the wire. Every time Carolina's scoring, Louisville comes back and scores. So this is it's going to be one that goes all the way down. And, and as you guys can see on, on the board, they're already. Let's see. I'm, I'm by, let's, Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How, how did Louisville get get sixty? All right, now I'm up. It was it was me. I'm the one that's behind. Hey, I'm way behind. How's that? Skip pass. Faulkner shoots a three. Misses a three. Rebound. All right, guys. I was the one that's a little bit behind. Hey, Kyle, why are you dribbling up there, bro? Five minutes and two seconds left. Love shoots a three. Off. Rebound, Louisville. 60 to 62. Stay on the floor. Rebound Baycock. Hands that to Davis. Alright guys. I on the television I got 427, but I may be a little bit in front. Love gets that to Davis. It's 12 seconds on the clock. Carolina right now, coach calls a play, but you only have eight seconds to call it. Ah, Davis shoots a long three. Hate that, bro. We got to get something going before four minutes and four seconds. Coach calls a timeout. That's uh, Coach P calls a timeout. Four minutes and three seconds. All right, I think we got it right here. Four minutes and three seconds left on the clock. 60 to 62. Carolina can't pull away. Louisville hasn't been able to pull away either. Right there, this game is going to be another close one. 
These dang turnovers, man, have got to cease for Carolina. They have got to cease for Carolina. All right, guys. Hey, make sure you join the chat. Hey, join the chat. Leave your comment. It's a commentary. You know what I'm saying? Wish I could show the game, but I can't show the game. You know, YouTube rules. Uh, Carolina fan right here, but anybody is welcome. You Louisville Cardinals out there. Where you guys at? Where you guys think going think to happen? Carolina is trying to hang on. Uh, the first game was a squeaker. Louisville could have had that controversial call there. Carolina came out the winner. So, you know, Louisville's ready to play, and they're showing it right here. Uh, Carolina really offensively doing a pretty decent job scoring. Um, uh, not a terrible job offensively. So, really, for Carolina, if this comes out, if we come out on the bad end of this one, uh, the basic thing we're going to turn this uh, come and blame this on will be our turnovers. There were times, you know, times where you get the ball, where we have the ball, and we don't even get a chance to shoot. That's 11 times. Actually, let's take a look at it. I think it's 13 times. 13 times we don't even get a chance to look at a shot. Both teams have 13 turnovers. You know, we're not worried about the other team. All right? We're supposed to, to, to make the other team turn the ball over. We've turned the ball over. Now, a few of these, this is the bad thing, a few of these turnovers have been unforced turnovers. Just over dribbling, <sighs> bad passes, not ready for the pass or whatever, but at least five of these have been unforced, unforced errors, if you want to call it. That's that's four times. That's five times we don't get a, a chance to look at the basket. Think about that seriously. Out of the five times we look at the basket, the way we're scoring now, we score at least two, uh, twice. All right, Louisville has about four minutes on the clock. West, he's on the right side. Skip passes that over to Williams. He backs up, hands it back to West. 13 seconds left to shoot on the clock. West goes off the left side, back to Williams, wide open three, off the mark, but rebound, rebound by Ellis. Ellis had a big game against us the last time. Nobody boxed him out. He gets the rebound. He's fouled. Nobody put a body on him. And we have yet another time out. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And they are probably out rebounding us now. There you watch. Smash. Yeah, Mike. Oh my gosh. Come on, Carolina. Let's go. Um I gotta take a look at this. I'm sorry. Gotta take a look at this. Gotta take a look at the rebounds. I think it was. I think it was tied up a few minutes ago. No, it's not tied up. They uh, it, Louisville is out rebounding the Heels, and a lot of those are are offensive rebounds. A few of those are offensive rebounds. None, maybe none, any bigger than that last one. And he was fouled on the play, but I don't think Carolina is in the. I don't think Louisville is going to be in the bonus yet. That can't happen, man. They, they, you give if you're playing great defense, and great defense also involves defensive rebounding, then that team, because they're a college team, they're going to get their shots. But when they miss the shot, we got to get the rebound. You can't give a college team and especially a professional team, twice the score in one possession, they're going to score. 
They are going to score. <sighs> Kamilo had called me at four in the morning yesterday. He said, Andrew, he said, he said we need to work on this song. I said, all right, all right. So you guys working on the song. I hear that, uh, Andrew. And we're getting pizza. Cool. Yeah, I saw it, Andrew. There you go. Keep keep working on that music there, young man. All right, everybody. Let's, hey, thank you for everybody showing up. I appreciate it. You know, whether this game goes our way, that's the Carolina way, or whether it goes Louisville's way. Good Lord, Carolina, we need this one, though. At home, when's the last? Okay, we had uh, Florida State was our last home win. All right, so... First of all, thank you guys for showing up. Before this is over, I want to thank everybody. Everybody that's in the chat. Uh, everybody that's, that's, that's online, hiding in the bushes, not chatting. That's fine. What's up, Garrett? But, um, yeah, I want to thank you guys uh, for, for uh, hanging out with us tonight. And if you don't do anything else before you leave, please smash that like button. Spam it. Oh, Ellis misses the first. Spam that, spam that, that like button. I appreciate it. All right, so we're back. He misses both. Carolina dodges a bullet right there, and they get the rebound. Get it, to Davis. Three minutes, thirty-seven seconds left. Davis brings it down. Let's go. No turnovers this time. They get it. Leaky Black. He gets it to Manic. Manic drives. Step back. Two pointer is good by Manic on the left side. Carolina plays some defense. We can't allow them to come right back and score. Let's go. Screen set up top by Davis. They get it over to Ellis. Ellis being guarded by Leaky Black. That's who we want on him. They get it to Williams. They swing it over to West. West screen set. West coming. He's Williams thought about the three. Baycock. Oh, nice shot. Nice defense by Baycock, but Williams still scores. And it's right back to a one-point game. All right. Carolina has the ball. Now it's on the, uh, the, the logo to get it to Manic. Manic pulls a quick three. Oh, Baycock gets the rebound. Love, bring it out. Bring it out. There you go. Let's run something. Good. Baycock got his hands on the rebound, and Carolina resets. 12 seconds on the clock. Now we got to go. Now we got to go. Got to pull up right there. Davis. Oh, Davis misses. Needed that shot right there. Louisville comes down. They got a chance to take the lead. Two minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. Skip pass. Another three. Misses. That was an air ball. Well, it did hit the back uh, backboard, but uh, Carolina gets the rebound. Love gets it in Davis' hands. Davis's hands. He comes out. Leaky Black. Hands it off to Love. Love doing his little dribbling thing. Let's go, Love. Give it up. Give it up, Love. Give it up. Gets it to Davis. Swings over to Leaky Black. Back to Davis. Eight seconds left. Davis drives. Bounce pass to Manic. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Scoop pass by Manic to Baycock. Nice little shovel pass. And Baycock slams it in. And there's another timeout by Louisville. Carolina up by only three with a minute and 28 seconds left. Hanging in there, fellas. Hanging in there, ladies and gentlemen. I know some ladies in the house tonight. What's going on, guys? Nice pass by Manny. Matt, what's going on? Hello. I'm also going to be on the song with Kamai. That's cool. What kind of song is it, guy? What's the genre? It doesn't matter, you know, but uh, just to be just to be nosy. All right, with the people on the floor right now, Louisville. Uh, Weathers, Williams, and Davis with 10 points. Ellis has seven. West has three for Carolina. Baycock, 12. 
Manic 17, Davis 16, Love 12, Black with 7. All right. If I'm Coach William right now, Williams right now, I'm like a uh, less, less run these guys off the three-point line, especially Williams. You got to get up in, got to get up on him. Get up on him. Get up on him. There you go. Just don't reach. Just play good defense. Get out there, Baycock. West shoots the three. He misses. Bounce pass to Davis. One minute, ladies and gentlemen. One minute on the clock. Carolina needs to score. Coach Davis calls a timeout. He wants to set up a play and get a basket out of this one. 58 seconds left. Can Carolina hang on? This will be a, this will be a good win. Is uh I think Louisville is quad three. All right, nice music right there, but I gotta turn it down. Let me turn my own on. Let's go. Hey, everybody. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button before you leave. NC stand up. Let's go. Let's go, baby. We get a score right here. This will go uh, far. <clears throat> this will go far for the win. And if we don't, we just got to play good defense. Don't give them a three, but don't no no silly fouls. All right, Love has the ball. He's on the logo. Coach has already called the play. Coach is running that time down. Love still dribbling. I hate it. I want him to get rid of the ball one time. Love drives. Layup is good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Put a little pressure on him, Coach. Put a little pressure on him. Make him work. 33 seconds left. They've got 25 to shoot. Carolina will get the ball back. Oh, long three is off the mark. Oh, they, they, but they get the rebound. And Williams loses the ball going up. Carolina has it. Louisville is going to have to foul, and they do. They get love with 19.7 seconds on the clock. And the Dean Dome faithful, including B Doc from 102 Gems. I don't think he works there anymore, though. They appreciate it. Long three. Baycock, smart, didn't give him a foul. <clears throat> Coach P over there, the only thing he could do right now is call a timeout, try to freeze love and extend the game, but I don't think he is. Well, I think his freeze tactic was to uh, sub. Come on, love. Let's go, baby. You got. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Michael Smitty, I'm, I'm feeling. I'm feeling a little bit better now. Feeling a little bit better with 19 seconds on the clock. And love hits both. 70, 67. Let's go, baby. Seven point game. Seven point game. Put a little token pressure on them uh, to make them work. Dribble that ball up the court, but don't do anything crazy. You know they're going to shoot a three. We cannot foul a three point shooter. If they hit it, 
If they hit it, we just got to, you know, get it, take the ball out. It, they're going to foul us. From here on out, it'll be a free throw game right here for Carolina. And then we got to go to state. Now, I remember back in the day when that North Carolina State game was a rivalry game just like the Duke game. In fact, in fact, it was North Carolina and State. North Carolina and North Carolina State was the rivalry game. And then and then Duke <laughs> then Duke became a powerhouse. So then it's Duke and Carolina. Twenty and eight. I'm fi I'm feeling good. I ain't, I ain't ready to concede the win yet, Michael. I should be, but that's just that's just not how I roll. Ten likes. I appreciate it, guys. I wish I could get fifteen before some of you guys leave. Can we get fifteen likes? Let's go. Only got ten. Twenty six people still in here. Let's go. Let's go. Hit that like button, baby. Hit that like button. Let's go. Here we go. 19.7 seconds left on the clock. I said the song. Hey, okay. I said the song is going to be a rock song. Okay, cool. I got you. I got you, uh, Matt. He's making a rock album. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Louisville gets it in to, and Carolina using all their fouls. All right, just play some defense, bro. West gives it to Williamson, and Williamson shoots the three, misses it. All right, now, now I'll say it, Smitty. Good win, Carolina. Let's go. Seven, seven uh, point lead. Four point five seconds on the clock. Coach P still, still coaching. Full court press. He knows anything can happen. Carolina's got to call timeout. Coach is not going to concede the victory. If nothing else, if nothing else, uh, Coach. Make a play so that ball gets to the other end of the court. Even if it were to go out of bounds and not touch anybody, Louisville has to start the length of the court. Four seconds all the way up. Shoot a three. If they hit the three, you know, it's 66 to 70. Game over. But I think what Coach is doing right now for uh, Louisville is just he's, he's, he's coaching. It's like, hey, we can use this. Uh, we may not win this one, but we can use this just in case there's a close game. You know, we can work. You can work on this. Hey, that's been that's been a long time that that uh. All right, Carolina gets it in the Manning under the basket. He doesn't have to dribble, and time runs out for the uh, Louisville Cardinals. And Coach Coach P and Coach uh, Davis meet, and they're talking. But I don't think there's going to be any uh, any hands thrown. So Carolina wins. Let's go. Give it up for the Tar Heels. Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Let me thank you guys personally for the guys being in the chat. Big Sean Crawley, another tension, <laughs> another tension head of the day, bro. Every game, every game. Uh, thank you guys for for hanging out with me today. Let me go over these. I'm gonna go over the stats and the. Uh, and the scores real quickly before I get out of here. But before I do that, before everybody's gone, number one, guys, hit that like button. Let's get let's get the likes up to 15. I only got 10 right now. Get the likes up to 15. Come on, 23 in here. 
Come on, 23 here. I know most of you in here are Carolina fans. I'm a Carolina fan. Hook a brother up. All right. So, uh, Sean, Coach Davis just going to run starters. Yeah. Till they, it, yeah. He, it, it, I think it's just, a, it's just a matter of trust, man. He's trying to put those other guys in there, but it's just a matter of trust. Hey, Mike. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. I saw the, the shout out. Try to get those, those likes up earlier, but I, hey, man, I appreciate it. And, um, state next. State next. Um, Sean Crawley, thanks for stopping by. Matt Soto, I meant Sato, thanks for stopping by, bro. Um, Garrett, appreciate you. Andrew stopped in for a while. Thank you, Andrew. Fly Stepper, we got you, bro. Nigel, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. Rodney Ses Sessoms. Thanks for hanging out. Ray stopped by. Hey Ray, man. Hey, thanks for stopping by, bro. Make sure you guys hit that long that that like button. Comment boy and know him. Thanks for stopping by. Know him? What you been up to? I ain't seen you in a long time. But yeah, hit that like button before you guys leave. I thank you guys for uh for hanging out, man. Yes, sir. Good win by Carolina. Good win by Carolina, you guys. We gotta we gotta realize that this is probably not gonna be uh, the state game is probably not going to be as easy as the, as the last state game uh, we played. Probably not going to be as easy. So I, I hope those I hope Carolina is focused. I hope Coach can get them focused and and and, and let them know, hey, we can't go to we can't we can't we can't play state and think what happened last time. We got to come out there and play hard this time. All right, our next games are going to going to have a big determin, determination on whether we got postseason. So we got to take each game separately and important and play hard. And, and like Coach is saying, he, he's saying the right thing. Play defense. Man, uh, if we could, I'm going to keep saying it until I see it again this year. If we can bottle up that second half of the pit game defensively, we'll be hard to beat. Will be hard to beat. At least some rest now, plus on walk, uh, on, uh, no walking again. Second half, yeah. There are so many bad misses on shots at that time. Yeah, yeah. That and the turnovers, not even getting a chance to shoot. Yeah, I, I was hope I was hoping that game against Pitt that that that, that Walton had had come out, you know, how sometimes you have a breakthrough. I thought that was going to be his breakthrough, and then Coach put him out there. and Because I, I I don't care what anybody says. Coach put Walton out there and said, shoot the ball, son, and gave him the green light. And after he had the green light, like, Walton, you could tell he was a different player. He wasn't even looking to pass. pass. He was looking to shoot the ball. His first drive, he drove that ball. He didn't look to get rid of it. He drove, he shot. I think he might have got fouled. But that showed me that coaches said, go out there and shoot the ball, son. And then he scored th two uh, threes back to back. But uh, yeah, all hope is not going for Walton. David, what's up? Enjoy. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Hey, come back, Davis. Uh, David. David Southern. I went to a school in Nash County called Southern Nash. Yeah, man. Hey, come back and join me, man. You know, I'm, I'm going to definitely, I mean, this this is going to be an interesting season. So, I'm definitely going to be trying to stream every Carolina game. You guys, uh, my uh, my Hornets, I, I will see what they do the second half of the, of the uh, not the second half, but the rest of the season. So, just, just check me out, guys. I appreciate it. Okay. Love Bake Out, but Case of Slippery Hands tonight and McCoy might is yeah, he he might he may be done. He may be done. Like he and I hadn't thought about it, and I think you might have said it the last time, uh, Sean, but he been re he's been relegated to the end of the bench. Like uh Styles is coming out early. Styles and um and Puff Johnson. And you know, like McCoy's just not even there, bro. I was hoping maybe he'd just be a defensive stopper, so when he comes out there, you'd have Leaky Black, 
he and Leaky Black on on the court. Uh, but uh, I guess he's just not, you know, since he, I don't know, he's just average out there, you know. So, um, all right, guys, let me check out. Check out the box scores. See what everybody ended up with, and uh, let's well let's do the team stats first. Should give us a big indication of, of how this why this game went the way it did. Uh, field goal percentage. Carolina actually ended up shooting better, 49.1. Cardinals were close behind with 45. Three point shooting. Both teams hit seven. Seven uh, Cardinals, seven out of 28, and. Um, Carolina 7 out of 25 and actually their coach wanted them to get to the basket instead of shooting threes there uh, both teams pretty pretty impotent right there three-point shooting percentage free throws Carolina 84% oh they almost got to that 85% I like to see every team get to uh, Louisville only two or five but Carolina didn't foul this game they played straight-up defense good defense like to hear that rebound Carolina did we ended up there at the end out rebounding them there there's your assist there's your steals blocks and the turnovers 13 actually at the last time we talked about the turnovers I think it was like maybe three minutes on the clock and Carolina didn't turn it over after that but man like I said think about not turning the ball over okay every team's gonna maybe turn it over you know, two or three times, but think about that. Three turnovers compared to 13 turnovers, and some of them unforced. All right, yeah, I, how, how do you cut down on that? How do you work on that in practice? The only thing I can think of is, uh, hey, guys, listen, anybody got a turnover, anybody turns the ball over, you run gassers today. <laughs> All right, for Louisville, Louisville ended up with 63 points. Um, Withers, Williams, and Davis all had 10. Ellis, 7. West, 3. Off the bench, Trainer had 2. Williamson had 7. Locke had 9. And Faulkner had 5. For Carolina, Baycock, 12 points, 15 rebounds. Wow. Manic, seven, 17 points. Good shooting there, Manic. Leading scorer for... Uh, Carolina Davis and Love both had 16 points. Black had seven. Puff Johnson scored two points off the bench for the only uh off the bench scorer right there. Free throws. Davis hit Davis hit hundred percent. Manic hundred percent. Love hundred percent. Puff Johnson hundred percent. Baycock missed the only two he went to the line to shoot. All right, but that's how it goes, guys. Listen, we got the win. That is what's important to us. We know we gotta, we just gotta keep on trucking and keep on, keep on plugging away, keep on grinding, and get these next wins. They give us a shot for postseason. You know, see what we can do with the uh, with the with the ACC tournament. Well, you got to win, what, three games? We'll see. I like Puff. Defensive. A defense. Styles will grow. But brings energy. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. I, I like I like Styles. I like Puff. Does have, uh, he, he gives it all he's got. Good defense. And they'll, they'll all grow into it. If they if they stay at Carolina, they're, they're four-year players. I listen to your call and I watch the IC game thread. Hey, hey, that's that's what's up, Dave. David, appreciate that. Gary, huge win for our heels. Louisville always plays as tough. I really don't see how that team has yeah lost eight games. Cause I went back and looked at a, a little bit there, Gary. And uh, let's see, Duke. 
I mean, Duke didn't blow them out, but they beat them pretty good. But it was a, it was a couple of games, like the Miami game they played. It, I mean, none, they haven't been really just blown out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's why I was like, hey, they, they're going to be ready to play when they come to uh, Carolina. So, yeah, I think they said some some uh, couple of guys might got hurt or whatever. But, uh, yeah, that I, I can't see how they've lost that many games, too. And they're laying too easy. Yeah, they did get in the lane too easy at times to turn in the buckets. But in the end, the Heels did take care of business. Am I muted? Testing, one, two, testing. Testing. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, got to finish strong. Pack Syracuse and the Duke. Duke at the end, regular season, yep. Krzyzewskiville is in full swing. Man, I, even if I would have went to Duke, I I, I would have never camped out. <laughs> that ain't me. Under microscope, the two foul shots Louisville missed at the uh, at the under four timeout was probably the game. Yeah, yeah, that that was a big that was big uh, by Ellis. Those were two big big shots. Like I said, Carolina dodged the bullet right there. Um, we do not have a PG. A point guard. We have two player. Yeah, we have two players at the point. Definitely. I definitely. I don't. I don't know. I, I get. I, I get. A. Uh, I get anxiety when I see Love bringing the ball. Well, not once he gets across and we get in the half court. That's when I start getting anxiety with him dribb dribbling. Sometimes I don't know why. I just like that ball in Davis's hand uh, a lot better. But you know. If Love can cut down on his turnovers, he's usually pretty pretty good offensively. You know, I mean, he if you really think about it, dynamic wise, Love is I would say our best dynamic offensive player. All right, I like I love Davis too. I, I like the way he's been able to get to the basket here uh, at least out of the uh, two out of the last three games he has. And he'll do nothing but get better as he at, at uh, the next couple of years. Um, but yeah, we don't have a real <laughs> strong, we don't have a, a point guard that because coach puts that ball in Love's hands at the top of the key all the time. He'll bring it down too. Uh, you're not. My phone was bugging. All right, the, uh, R.J. Davis looked like a point guard now. Yeah, he did. He did. Tighten up in the lane. Better late in the game. Yep. You're not muted. All right. Uh, my phone was. Okay, I got you, Garrett. They just beat a good Clemson team. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the, uh, that's who uh, Louisville beat. So, they it not it not a pushover. You know, even though matchup predictor gave them only 14% chance to win. Every time they play us, uh, like you guys said, they give us a great game. Uh so, not looking at, not focusing on the record, we can still say Carolina technically played a good team right there. All right, they, I mean, they, they're they a good team. The record doesn't show it, but, you know. Ooh, Mr. Dunk. Baylor, last year's champion. Was it Baylor last year? Was it Baylor? Thought it was. <laughs> Even in beating Clip Clemson, just definitely it. It if, if nothing else, it says Louisville. Louisville ain't, ain't at the he they're not at the bottom of the league so but once again that would have been a that would have been another uh tough that would have been another that would have been a tough loss for us to take just like the pit game just like the pit game I, I don't know what I don't know what the deal was with the pit game like 
you know, record wise, we were much we were much better. They even had a less chance to win by uh, matchup predictors chance than Louisville. Matchup predictor only gave them like eight percent chance to win. Carolina ninety percent chance. I've never seen that. But uh, let by bygones be bygone, coach. Hey, we might see him in the ACC tournament. Who knows? Have to be, have to be state in Syracuse. Need intensity on Saturday on the road, definitely. Uh, the other thing I'm, I'm not liking is this long layoff. I'm not liking this long layoff. Before we play state. But we're going to have to deal with it. And come out there. Hopefully we can get some good shots at the beginning. You know. And then uh, like, like this game. Glad we started off well. Didn't have to uh, work from behind to try to try to come back and win this game. Man, there's so many parallels between the, car the Tar Heels and the Hornets. It's, it's crazy. We turned the ball over. The uh, Hornets turned the ball over. Uh, um, the Hornets do a, a much better job when they when they're not behind in the first quarter. Uh, the only the biggest difference here, though, is care, as my Hornets want to shoot. At, we're just a three point shooting team, and for some reason, as a whole team, even though you got all these guys that are like, uh, I guess you can consider them. Three and D. You would think with all the guys we've got with the Hornets that any given night there be one guy who's who's decent from three. Man, we got we got games like the last eight nine games where like just nobody can hit a three. Nobody. Lamelo Ball come out and hit hit you know he'll he'll he's been shooting decent. But then nobody else can hit a three. And if that's what your team is predicated on, shooting the three, and it's obvious that's what it is, because at times we'll have five guys out around the perimeter. Even the big guy, even the big will shoot uh, 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 in the pick and roll, will hit, uh, will set the pick, and then he'll roll beyond uh, behind the three point line instead of going to the basket. If PJ's out there, uh, but anyway. Clemson best player was hurt also. By no point guard, I mean what we struggle to bring the ball to to break down defenses, and the the turnover just cannot happen like that. You're exact. You're right, Davis. David, exactly right. Not that quint essential point guard. That guy, that guy who's uh, who you know, you are confident every time he, when he's dribbling, he's not going to turn the ball over, and then he can he can break down the defense. I, they like I said, now the last two out of three games, I don't think it was the last game, but two out of three games, Davis has shown me that he can get to the basket. And um, I, I I saw it a couple of times this game where he was able to get to the basket and break down those de the the defense. So he he did look a lot better and and look more like the point the point guard today. Hey David, uh, Coach Davis, Coach Davis is gonna have to find another. He's gonna have to go ahead and and uh, recruit a point guard, a strong point guard here. No need to wait. Go ahead and get one. Maybe get one in here this year. Uh, give up one of those those uh, those scholarships. Find a just a a shooter. I mean a, a shooter. Not just not just a shooter, skill wise, but a shooter in his head. Somebody that that knows that that's what I do. That's probably why they got. That's probably why they got Walton. Cause I, I think I think right out of high school, love 
or in high school, his senior year, Love could just get to the basket when he wanted to. He was just much bigger and stronger than everybody. Uh, but yeah, I if we could find a shooter, I mean, just somebody that could put the ball in the basket. Well, okay, when I say yeah, yeah, a shooter, but. When I say shooter, I'm thinking that that three-point shooter. Because, I mean, let's just be honest, that a mid-range game, nobody works on that anymore. Nobody That DeMar DeRozan mid-range game, nobody works on that no more. It's either shooting a three or they're doing a layup. People who shoot the short shot, they just they it, it looks weird to them. When I see them shoot, it, they just look weird. It's like like Kerwin Walton, I, and I know you guys remember, he had a three point shot. He turned it down and drove in, and shot the little short jumper. He missed it, but he looked awkward shooting that. You know, like you know these guys don't don't work on that. They either shooting the three or they driving to the basket. And man, to me, two points is two points. You should be able to score everywhere. But all right, guys. Hey, listen. I'm getting ready to get out of here. I'm going to leave up the, uh, I think I'll leave up the, the box scores and um, play a little music. And I'll come back on later and officially shut uh, shut down. But uh, once again, thank you guys for uh, for hanging out. I appreciate it. As always, and I will see you guys at State. Come and check me out. Oh, yeah, Gary. That, I mean, that's 100% true. When he's on, love, he's on. That little step back beyond three-point three point line, you can tell when he's, when he's feeling it. Driving, yeah, he had, he has. I mean, he has helped us out. That's why I can't, I can't really, I can't really kill the guy on some of the turnovers he has. You know, some of the, uh, some of the decisions he make that end up being the wrong decision. I can't really kill him for it because, like I said, when he does it, uh, he'll uh, a lot of times he'll come right back down and make a, a good play, especially offensively. So, and I think that's what coach sees. But, uh, yeah, guys, check me out Saturday. Appreciate you guys hanging out with the old man.
All right, everybody. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Uh, it's going to be State and Carolina. State and Carolina. See you guys at that game. Peace. Coach Gary is out.